as you are all probably aware, the anti-graft agency Yoko followed a sustained probe into a number of allegations level against six officers of the university, including me, by the Professor Abekale Governing Council of the University of Education, concluded in black and white that we did not abuse our offices, nor were we in violation of any procurement process. This allegation formed the basis on which we were removed from office. It's also interesting to know that these dismissals were made despite the pendency of the case of the Supreme Court of the land at the time. We are back to our offices today to resume our rightful positions, knowing that there is no court prohibition on us and no notice of indictment from Yoko. We are delighted that the government institution, Yoko, has been professional and did a thorough independent investigation. This is clear evidence of a state institution working to ensure justice and fairness to its citizens. Way forward. During our press conference on the 16th April 2019, we argued for unity and harmony in the University of Education, Wiliba, as an important basis for growth and ensure a conducive environment for scholarship. The time has now come to realize these ideals. We are determined to sustain such an enabling environment working together with all relevant stakeholders. In that press conference, I also forgave Reverend Father Professor Fulbroni and Professor Becker for the roles they had played in this whole saga, this whole issue, and indicated a willingness to be part of a conversation to reconcile the university. Indeed, since that press conference, I have made a number of overtures, for example, contacting some members of faculty who have strong views against us through phone calls for the need for all to consider the greater interest of the university as foremost. I have gone on to discuss with them how we can all come together to rebuild the broken bridges of trust to ensure peace, harmony within the university. Given the tasks ahead of us, these will be critical in refocusing the university and strategically positioning it for further growth fairness and equal opportunity for all staff. For me, my foremost priority is to strive for genuine reconciliation among all staff and faculty. It is only when genuine reconciliation is achieved can we restore the university to a functioning unit to leave its mandate. We will work with relevant stakeholders to ensure this is achieved in the shortest possible time. Distinguished university guests, we wish to thank the government, members of parliament, the legislatures, the Winneba community and the larger Ghanaian community, students and staff of the university, personnel of the security service for their support. We are grateful for the numerous support from well wishers within Ghana and outside of it. We are grateful to God that we have emerged out of these experiences largely emotionally and psychologically.